The goat. Is this where the goats live then? Is yes. it over there? Yeah, yeah, they're at the far corner. So in today's video, we went to a totally different car boot, but we found some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Hello, John Luke, how are you? You all right, buddy? Yeah, good, mate, you? Not bad. Where you been, like, anywhere? Nah, not been anywhere. Yeah. How much are your games? Four quid. Four quid, yeah. yeah. And how much are your controllers as well? Uh, yeah, a couple of quid each. All right. They all work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get the, I'll get the green one. The PS2 games. I'll get that set. How much is your circulation thing as well? Uh, tenner. Tenner? It's got everything, all the things. What you yeah, 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 yeah. Can I just have a, have a look at it? Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Cheers. There you are. Awesome. So I'll take that for a tenner. The games, controller. How much on the Barbie as well? A uh, couple of quid. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see what I'm at. Ten. You get the Barbie as well. I'll give you about 20 quid there, don't I? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Space Invaders. That, that's a tenner. Tenner. I'll leave that one. I'll give you 20 quid and I'll, uh, yeah. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Cheers, Thank guys. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. How much are your Gujitsus as well? Uh, pound. Pound each? Yeah. I'll take the four then. Yeah. Why not? Oh, is it five? Yeah. I'll take the five then. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you very much. You nah, I'll be all right. You sure? We'll manage. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Appreciate that. Right. Have a nice day, guys. And you. Do, do, do. You got any video games, anything like that? Oh, you got a couple so, here. That's it. That's all I've got. Fish room, Swanee How much? Quit a game. Quit a game. Oh, three of them for two quid if you want to. Yeah, I'll take them. Why not? Yeah, I'll do a bit of bargain hunting, yeah. There's a guy in America that does that. And yeah, yeah. Shit that he buys. He's, he's good fun. He's good fun. It's uh, John Luke on YouTube if you want to watch. <laughs> Thank you. See you later. Have you got any video games, mate? Uh, yeah. Uh, I've got some PS3 games. I've got a PSP with games. Oh, I'll be interested. Yeah, if you yeah, could, yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers, mate. Uh, I always ask that. No one, everyone says no, no. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. Awesome. So you've got the charger there. Oh, it's been in box for years. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't tried. I've got an inverter, so we can plug it in if you... No, no, I, I trust you on it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> PSP, have you got PS3 games as well? Or? Yeah, I've got PS in the box at the front there that I've uh, just played. How much do you want on the PSP? I'd probably say tenner for a lot. Tenner? Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, 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 yeah tenner. And then the PS3 games? Yeah, I, I don't know how much I've got left because someone, someone bought some. What have got in there? Oh, oh they are gone. Yeah, they're all gone. <laughs> all right, it's all right, I'll take that for a tenner anyway. Yeah. Buzzing, thank you very much. That's all right, mate. Thank you. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate much. it. Enjoy. How much are your trousers? Tenner. Tenner. Never been used. Thank you very much. Take eight for them? Two. Go on then. Eight. <laughs> Thank, <laughs> you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Go on. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. How much for your t shirt? Do I, how much for your t shirt? You can't call it a tenner. Sorry? Do you want to call it a tenner with a t shirt and then yeah, save the chain? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. How much? Is it a book set? Yeah. How much? 50 peep? I'll take that one. Thank you. <laughs> Can't go wrong with it. Sorry. Thanks. There's a big orange rug down there. Yeah. Just a few stalls down, just have a look at it. How much are your card binders? Two pound each. We do six quid for the binders and the packs. Would you do six quid for the binders and the packs? Thanks. Six pound. Thank you very much. Yeah, no worries. How much are the chests? The chests. They're brand new, mate. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? I can offer, mate. I want them gone, to be honest. Uh, what? Take a pair for fifteen. Right. What do they retail at? Not a clue, mate. Let's have a quick look online. Yeah, have a look. The Ultra Pro, a good brand Ultra Pro, so. Yeah, I was going to say, well, I've got tons of cards, but I haven't sorted through them. But. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have, I'll have a quick look or whatever. Ultra Pro. My mate's a big card guy, so he'd love something like this. Ultra Pro. Uh, you do a 10 or one or two? I'll do 12, mate. 12, I'll do 12, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah cool. Oh, that looks pretty cool as well. 
They're meant to light up and everything when you put the... Yeah, yeah, they should it's be cool to set up. There, it says on the back, power lead sold separately. It's just a Michael USB. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I appreciate it. Yeah, cool. How much have you got in your magazines? Quid each, mate. They're quite... I think they're American ones, mate. Right? What do I owe you there? 12. Will you do 15 with it, too? Yeah, Save me a quid. Cool, mate, yeah. Thank you. Spot on, mate. Cheers. Cheers for that. Cheers, mate. How much are you, trainers? Eight quid. Put that on those as well. Five. Five, so eight and five. Would you do a ten on the boat? Yeah, I go for it. Yeah, cool. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Thanks Appreciate that. Ah, uh, fifty p each. Yeah, may as well take him for that. Yeah. <laughs> I watch on your compass as well. Uh, quid. Quid. Uh, never been out the box. Why not? I watch earlier there. Two pound. Two pound. Two pound. Have you looked at that gaming stall at the end? Yeah, he's a, he's a trader. Him. Lovely, thank, thank you very much. much. Cheers, dude. What brand's the jacket, mate? Uh, the grey one, is it? I'm not sure. It's a motorbike jacket. Yeah, yeah. Uh, spider. So spider, it's, it's yeah. About um, 50, <laughs> quid. How much have you got on it? Uh, Two. Box, like 15. 15? Yeah. What about the black one as well? How much is that one? Uh, I'll, take, I'll take a 10 of that. It's a bit smaller. What, um, what's, what, it was just what brand is that? I'm not sure on the brand. It's just got like. Nitro. Nitro. It was from a uh, bit of a bike show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Again, show the pads. Ten of it. Yeah, ten of that one, fifteen on this one. Did you do twenty for the two? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Cool, man. Got you a jacket, man. There you go. Get you on the motorbike. Cheers, dude. Right. Twenty well. pounds. Oh, thank you very much. Lovely Cheers, dude. Cheers. Thank you. The goat. Is this where the goats live then? Is yes. it over there? Yeah, yeah, they're at the far corner. Oh. No, I'll take him. I'll take him to you. Tia. Tia. <laughs> He's Tia. <laughs> Not often you see yourself walking around. How much is your score draw, mate? Pardon? How much is the score draw? The, um, um, five pounds. So five pounds? I'll have a quick look at it. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that one. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you. you. Is the basket, the basket for sale? How much for the basket? Pound? I will take it for a pound, thanks. I didn't want to take it home. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Pound? Cheers. Thanks, guys. You're right, I bought your basket. Nice. How much is that one? Pound. Pound? There was a guy with an England shirt down there. I got it. I said, my boyfriend, I'll get my boyfriend and I'll be back. Yeah, I got it. Small little tag on it, but it's one of those ones you told me about. Yeah, it's alright. So we're back from the car boot. Our usual car boot was rained off. Mm -hmm. Thunderstorms up in Exeter. So we went to a little bit of a different one, a mm -hmm. bit of a local one, a new one starting up. And um, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah, not a normal Sunday routine, but it actually turned out to be pleasantly surprising. Yeah, we did all right. A lot of the faces from Exeter were down there, so it mm -hmm. kind of like filtered through. But um, it was a small one, quite, yeah. quite small anyway, yeah, compared to Exeter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we bought loads of stuff. Are well, I got, I got quite a few bits. It's only been open about three weeks, hasn't it? Yeah, totally new. Don't tap your own. Sorry. It's okay. Right, so, we'll get into it. Well, you found a load. I didn't find a whole great deal, but I enjoyed... They got, like, baby... It was nice, wasn't it? They had goats there and everything. <laughs> it was something for everyone. I was convinced it was a spring of spaniel, but you... No, I said, I swear that's a goat. <laughs> you you found a nice little puppy, and then we went up to it, and you was like... Oh, my God, it's a goat! Right, so, this is just going to be in random order. Um, I think I took the right direction off the start. So I think that's what helped me today. Um, but this was a Charlotte find. Charlotte found this Halo original Xbox, quite old school, early 2000s, three book set, brand new and sealed, paid 50p for it, and should get about 25 to 30 pound for that. Pre-owned, you get like 20 quid, mm -hmm. but it's got the seal on still. It retailed for $23.97 back in 2004. Cool one for 50p. The man was laughing because I was going, John, and then I'd wait and I'd go, John, John, and you weren't, you were. Yeah, but I'm, I'm in the zone, man. <laughs> he was literally in the stall next to you, and the guy was like trying to hold in his laugh. <laughs> I'm in the zone, man. Um, another cool couple of pieces. So this is in like totally random order, by the way. This action figure, Tom Hart's action figure digest magazine with like early 70s kind of Star Wars figures on. That is amazing. Um, Beautiful condition. Yeah, I think I got them for a pound each um, in like a bundle deal. There's some really, really cool stuff in there. I think I could get like 15 quid for that. 
and on that one. Really good, I love you, it. If you think, back in the day, it was £3.25, which is expensive. Oh, is that from a modern day? It's not modern, it's like, this is like late 90s, early 2000s. I'm saying, is that tag from a, like no, a yeah, that's probably that's shop? No, no, I think that's, that's when, it, when it was sold, to be fair. Well, it's expensive for back in the day, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, of course it, it is. So. But really nice popping colours on there, and then the little tube back, isn't it? No bottom. mould or anything, so you never cool. see them like that. The Wookiees, should I say, might get taller. There is Chewbacca in there, though. Uh, and then another one was White's Guide to Collecting Figures, and it's got uh, like the Corpse Bride, Nightmare Before Christmas on the front, which is just super cool. Again, mate. just like a really cool kind of buying guide for action figures. Like loads of different Galoob, what's that, Ultra Force, Troll and Toad, fine Look figurines. Look at the porcelain Barbies. Yeah, just, just like really cool um, yeah, ads for dolls and for stuff. the upcoming Barbie movie, do you know what I mean? Yeah, so again... Might not be crazy money, but really cool to find. Right, so I'll go right back to the beginning. First stall, we found some PS2 games, so I grabbed those straight away. Um, so it was a good bundle of PS2 games. We've got Legend of Spyro, Shadow, Sonic Hero, Sonic Riders, Spyro again, Spyro again, and a Sonic game. So it was Sonic and Spyro. Uh, they wanted four quid for the lot, so I was happy to pay that off the bat. Yeah. They also had this seven film Conjuring collection on Blu-ray, so I bundled that in. See, I wouldn't know that's worth money because I thought it would be on streaming platforms. It's just, you know, Blu-ray seven films, you tend to get like half decent money. Um, they had a circulation booster, so this one's about 50 quid pre-owned. So it's not crazy crazy, but oh, again, in the decent. box, they wanted a tenner for that. I was like, you know what, yep, because I was getting like a nice little building rapport with them. They were super cool. Um, they had Gujitsus. Five of these, little dinosaur T-Rexes, stuff like that. Said how much he Gujitsu's. Pound each. I was like, yep, yeah, buzzing with that. I thought I'll have all of them. Maybe <clears throat> you could do one of them in the auction. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Be good fun. Um, and then they had a Barbie as well. Like brand new in the box. Perfect which these are like 20 quid in Tesco, do you know what I mean? Um, I think total cost me 20 quid. So I might have knocked a couple of quid off at the end, but yeah, 20 quid for all those games, the booster, the figures. And a Barbie as well, which is great. This might go to the girls or something for Christmas as well. Not for the upcoming Barbie movie, Salim? Possibly, I might get rid. Because I got them a lot of stuff, haven't I? Mm -hmm. The last car with the girls. Yeah, yeah, so... Very nice. that. Great first style, and it proper sets you up for the... For the the car boot then, do you know if what I mean? If you had to go home then, it's like happy days. Yeah, just I mean? like, yeah, I can relax. But yeah, walk around the corner. Um, I never normally ask too much, like, oh, have you got games, you got games. But sometimes I do, just off the off chance. And he had games, I was like, oh... This is just, you know, what I mean, it's just, you know, this day is just great because um, it just never happens to me, does it? Never happens to me. So yeah, he said I've got a PS PSP. I was like, I'll uh, I'll have a look. So you had these games wrapped in tape. Uh, we've got FIFA 07, Star Wars Battlefront, Open Season, uh, BMX game. We've got King Kong, Juiced, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So they were all complete in the box. And then the PSP with the cable. Never seen one of them before. Never seen a PSP before? Nope. Until I showed you a second ago. Yeah. Really nice condition. It Again, is. he said it's just been a box for years. Like this is like really minty. No scratches on it, no scratches on the front. Real nice condition. Considering it's old, it's a nice modern looking. Yeah, it's like early 2000s, like yeah. 2008. It's, not bulky it's like or 2007, 2008. Um, if you, if, you know, guys who know the games, like these, like the game bits at the end, like they get a bit funny, but it's proper springy, real nice. <laughs> See, that's how you pop your game in. Ah, that's really nice condition. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I mean. It's no just, it's just minty. He said, uh, I said, how much, for, you know, for the, um, the PSP and games? And he was like, a 10. I was like, mm. I was like, yeah, happy days. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? Like, you, uh, at that price, I'm not even bothered about haggling because it's just like such Fair a nice, bro. positive experience. It's like, yep, happy days. Um, so, yeah, that was that guy. I went back to his stall a little bit later and got loads more stuff. So, I'll just show you what I got again. <clears throat> Was this just a man selling out of his car? It was that van. That the was, van. There was the van. Uh, they actually posted on the Facebook group uh, the night before saying, oh, they, they're switching to van life. So basically, they're getting rid of a lot of stuff. So I was quite intri intrigued to find that van. And when I seen it come in late, I was like, oh, definitely going to uh, ask them. Uh, 50 peach on the hats. So a Tour de France hat, which I think is happening at the moment. So that might sell real quick. And then a Honda racing hat with Castrol and, you know, pretty vintage nice. ones, to be fair. Might keep that one. Uh, a nice little black and red hat go with the uh yeah. you know the attire we've just watched the well i've just watched the race <laughs> I've not watched um, like. we, we went to the car beat before the race and then we've just watched silverstone so it was not well, a bad race no. lewis got third yeah, lando great. got second obviously max got first you know it's a bit boring now uh but yeah buzzing with that and then also the same guy <clears throat> he had a couple of motorcycle jackets uh this is like a real nice gray one with the shoulder protection in and stuff like that 
Love I said what picture. brand was it and he said spider but it actually you know because spider is a motorcycle brand it actually is spada um spider miss sold me no i'm joking but this is this brand is just as good uh they retail for over 100 pounds lovely condition he wanted 15 on this one and then he had a different branded one which is called nitro nitro this okay. is a bit of a smaller one uh, and he wanted a 10 on this so 25 he wanted for the two he did the both for 20. I was gonna say i was gonna say to get him down to 20. yeah so we've got him down for 10 20 so like 10 10 or each Again, if they're 30, 40 quid each. You do well on your stuff. motorcycle gear. Yeah, yeah. It's, when, it's, when it's a bit messed up and a bit... You have got to be careful because you can't sell stuff that's too knackered or damaged. Yeah, or yeah, safety. yeah. It's just like... you just got to know what's good and not Yeah, I, ch I choose my battles with motorcycle gear because it mm. can be a bit funky, can't it? Definitely. Um, I picked up these Berghaus Gore-Tex trousers, brand new with tags. Again, great brand Berghaus. Just sold some used Berghaus boots for £40. You did? Uh, the other day. These are a... What are they? UK 20, so they're, they're actually women's. Uh, but yeah, brand new with tags. They wanted a tenner, got them for eight. Um, nice. And then I found this t-shirt on the same stall, which is a Pink, Fly, Pink Floyd tour t-shirt. But I think it's like a dodgy one because it says the Australian Pink Floyd show. You, you, no, but it says UK arena tour. So I think it's like kind of Pink Floyd's Australian, you know what I mean, like a knockoff one. Blue anyway, they cut, chucked it in for two quid just so they didn't have to give me change. So turn off for the Bergaus trousers and nice. the tea, which should was we, nice. Should we jump in with some of my friends? Yeah, we'll jump in with Shah. Let's jump in with Shah. Not much for me. <coughs> I was mainly browsing just for myself and family. But John Luke found me. Yeah, you would have seen it on the footage. This was full of books. And I know Charlotte loves the baskets, wicker baskets, all that good stuff. I said, oh, were you, you know, are you selling the basket? And I was like, yeah, yeah. I said, how much? She said a pound. It's gorgeous condition. It's, yeah, happy day. It's one of them where there's no light breakages. Yeah. It's real nice for a pound. And it's got different colourways in it. It's nice, some creamed brown. Yeah, a nice big handle as well. Like on Facebook Marketplace. But what can you get for that? 20? Yeah. Yeah. Or we can use it. Do you know what I mean? Use it for the summer. It's real nice. Yeah. Collect your eggs in that. Yeah. If you don't know, we've got loads of chickens at the end of our garden. Which we definitely don't because I'm scared of birds. <laughs> I wish you did though. Nope, definitely Laying not. eggs all day. One of my first pickups was a 2011 Slinky. Slinky? What is it, 2011? Yep. So it is for the Toy Story 3? Yeah. If you um get this with the box, it's around 40. Without the box, you Slinky. go between 10 and 25. Cool, though. So I paid a pound or 50p. Yeah, it's real cool. I love Slinky. I I've love just, Toy Story. I've not seen him before. You've seen him in the film, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, you I haven't seen yeah. this figure. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. But I'm giving him to John because it suits John's store a bit better. Yeah. You found a couple of jelly cats there, little twins. Oh, give me a chance to get on that before I do. Oh, my jelly come, cat. come on, you know. Jelly cat. <laughs> oh. This is oh. um, Basher or Bashful. I've had him a few times before, actually. Well, they're all called Bashful, aren't they? What is it? A Bashful dog? Um, is he called Patchwork or Patch something? He's called something. I've Bashful Patch or something. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, they were a pound each and they're in gorgeous condition. They go between 10 and 15 pre owned. Oh, let, let, just comment down below. Should we keep these? Because they are cute. Look at the little faces. Like we, we could call them like little cute names. I've already listed I, them, John. You've already listed them. I know. I don't mess about Look when at I how get cute home. they are. If please, they don't sell within a week, please be my mum. Please. I'm everybody's mum. Please. I've got too many, <laughs> I've got too many kids in the go. Um, how much do you pay for these then? Pound each. Pound each. I didn't even barter. Do you know so, what I mean? Shout out to the jelly cat guy. Shout out to you. Shout out to Ian. Um, if you don't know jelly cats, definitely worth picking up, aren't they? I had to. It was loads of them on the floor, like, and I just digged. I thought maybe some. You're digging, well. you'd be digging for gold. Do you know what? All I look for is tags. You, I don't look at the doll itself, I look at the tags when I'm sorting through. Yeah, you're better off, really. Save time. Yeah, and you'll find some gold. I got little this little top. Barcelona top, paid a pound, um, between 10 and 15 for that one. Yeah, it's in yeah. Really nice yeah about 10, yeah. yeah. It's nice. Just because of the small size, but it's in good condition. It's, age, it's the same well, one, age 11 to 12, sold for £16 something on eBay. You don't give it to Ted? He's already got one you've given him. No, but it's a different one. It's just nice, isn't it? Cute. He's aged 10, 11 to 12 or whatever. He'd fit in that. 10 to 11? <laughs> he's three, but he's massive. He's massive. <laughs> He'd well fit in that. Well, it's listed. I've got nice, some cute. money. I bought him loads today. I don't show him the stuff I got, but I got him loads of clothes. You always get kids clothes, don't you? And little toys and bits. Yeah, I got him, you know, the um, Crayola colouring pads that um, don't draw off the pad? So yeah. Don't go, they're actually worth a bit of money. They were brand new. Paid 50p each. That's all right. Um, but it just keeps him entertained. Keeps him happy. Don't get much clothing. Three year olds going on turn in it. Yep. Some chiffon. This is Peruna. Oh, it's not chiffon, it's weird, isn't it? It is a tiered maxi dress, midi dress. Um, both are 16 large. If you don't know um, Peruna. Is it a maxi or a midi? I'd love to know. Um, I don't know. That's what I, I thought joking. that when I said it. I'm joking. I think it's a midi. 
It is a midi, yeah. yeah. It's nice though. Yeah. Size that's 16, how much? Size 16, so I got that one. How much was that? I'm going to tell you off. Oh, you got a little bundle. One. And I got this one. Blue vibes, again a midi. Um, Peruna sell really well. Of course they do. Between... It's m and isn't it? Yeah, it's their luxury range. I swear, like m and just go doing the most, like making loads of labels, do you know what I mean? I know. Every brand, do you know what I mean? Anyway, I paid two for five pounds. I only found out the other day at Pep and Go's Poundland. Yeah. That's nuts. Poundland are making clothes. Yeah. <sighs> Never knew. You're not showing that one. Oh uh, yeah, and this one. So I paid five pounds for those two, and then off a different store. This little monsoon jacquard dress. Yeah, monsoon Beautiful. kids dress. It uh, retails for seventy-five pounds. Brand new with tags. It's age fourteen to fifteen. Their bridal range. So I did a little bit of research earlier. Um. Some tagged ones in a similar colourway have gone for 40 on eBay. Yeah. Um, you so got yeah. it for a fiver, so I you can't really fiver. complain with that. Even if you got it for 30, you got 30 for it. You know Even if I mean? I got 20 for it. Yeah, I'm 20 20 fiver. Mind. You're happy, aren't you? Yeah. So that's the end of my Please home. be my man. I do not want to be your man. <laughs> right, so I've got a few other little bits and bobs to go through. Um, nothing like crazy, crazy. But you got a couple of PSP games before I actually found the PSP. Pretty bog standard stuff, but they actually can go in the PSP bundle now. Uh, Real Fishing, Tony Hawk. It's like it was meant to be. World Snooker. It was meant to be, because I never find PSP games. Um, he said pound each, or, you know, two quid for the free, so took the three there. I found some binders of football cards, which, this is the Adrenaline XL. This is like this year, it's just gone. Highland. 23. Is there a Highland in here? That'll be uh, exciting, won't it? There is when you went to I think there might be some at the back, though. So oh, all, the all the special cards are at the back. Ah. So we have got... Walker. Walker. We've got a Ronaldo. So it's actually a mix of both years in the new binder. Right. That's what it is. So we might not have a Highland in there. There's some, some nice cards. Though. Anyway, that's full to the brim, that. Full to the brim. Um, and then we've got this Qatar World Cup one, which is not as full, but still quite full. Um, I said, how much do you want for him? She said two quid each. So I was like, yep, buzzing with that. So I was really interrupted by the sunshine over in my camera. How dare it be How sunny? dare them? Um, but what I was going to say is, Anyway, the books were £2 each. He said the bags were 50p each with like loads of cards in. I just said we do six quid for the lot, which is a bit of a Nick's Hill, Nick Hills move, isn't it, really? Like, am I stealing there? Am I stealing? Who knows? I'm joking. Joking if you, if you didn't get it. Uh, but yeah, I got, got um, the lot for six quid. So we'll uh, have a play with all that. Last couple of bits before my camera decides to overheat again. I got this England shirt for a fiver, little score draw one. It's got marks on the back. I shouldn't have bought it. Didn't realise. Where's the marks? Oh, uh, there. Well, it doesn't matter. But any, anyway, paid a fire for that. Like, I swear the guy farted when I was at the, the stand as well. <laughs> like, you probably hurt the camera like a proper loud fart as well. How much is the score draw? The, um, uh, shirt? Five pounds. That was another one. I said, oh, I'm going to go find my boyfriend and I'll be back. I never came back, but then I saw Johnny went, oh, I got an England shirt. Got a pair of Cortez, black, nice condition on those. And then they had a pair of Docs as well. I think they wanted eight for one pair, five for the other or something. Got both pairs for a tenner. Good so, bathroom down. Yeah, they're a little bit a little bit scuffed up, but just we can polish. we can spruce them up. The laces aren't great, but you, you know, when they're a fiver, you just gotta just gotta deal with them. I think you? they're alright condition when yeah. they've got polish. I know. Cortez are really nice to be fair. Good condition. What um, sizes? People often ask. Uh, for they are a eleven. Eleven. UK eleven. Spicer. How much but do you think, expect to get back twenty five? Clean, clean them up nice, you get thirty quid at least, yeah. Because yeah. there's no scuffs on the leather no. there. They're proper good condition. <laughs> Last but not least, I got these ultra pro card chests brand new in the box mm. so ultra pros a pretty good brand if you are a card collector they do all the top loaders and the sleeves and all that um yeah it's pretty niche you gotta be a card collector of you to know it anyway uh they wanted 15 for the two got them for 12 uh he won't do a tenner but i ended up getting the couple of magazines off him as well and a couple of little bits so i was happy with that uh these retail at like 33 pounds each so will you bundle them up or do again i'm too? not sure i'll have to see there's not many listed to be fair so yeah, exciting little haul that, wasn't it? Exciting little haul. What are what, your thoughts? What was your favourite find of mine? My favourite find of yours were the jelly cats. Me too. And Don't then I find them at the end. My favourite finds of my own. Let me say it. What I what my favourite find of yours was. Mine has to be the docks. The docks, cool. My favourite find of mine were these magazines for sure. Like, look how cool they are. Like, they're not everyone's cup of tea, but they're my cup of tea. That's all that matters. No sugar, right? And if you tune into Garage Live this Wednesday at 8, maybe John will put a few of these things in the auction. Yeah, Garage Live every Wednesday. Uh, if you've not been there before, it's a bit of an hour or two of fun live. We have a drink. John, me Luke and, and Ricky Lee. Yeah, me and Ricky resells. Um, 
I'm not sure when this will go out, but each week it's on my channel and his channel. It alternates, so. So you do auctions, you do giveaways, you do general reseller chat, yeah, and then you do like topics Q&A, just, of Yeah, just it's just a bit of fun. <sighs> right, Charlotte, can you do an outro for me? Like, point me at the camera. I'm gonna we're gonna show the power of this microphone. Are you ready? So uh, walk off slowly into yeah, the distance. Yeah, like so. There's links down below in the description. So we've got eBay store, Instagram links, Facebook groups. What else have we got down there? Gusto links, zip sale, get cross listing. You're walking in all the grass seeds. Yep, walking in the grass <laughs> seeds. But I can walk away dead fine, you can still hear me. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a nice comment down below. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you are new. I'll see you next time.